Seth Everett, NBC Sports Radio, the 24-7 live sports talk network. You can listen at NBCSportsRadio.com. Download the NBC Sports ro- uh, Radio mobile app right now. Seth, we got playoff baseball. Uh, baseball in the Delaware Valley was not very fun this year, but we got good playoff matchups. The, the two wild card games, very exciting so far. Uh, what are you looking forward to today with this Red Sox Astros game coming up in just a couple of hours? Yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some of these favorites. You know, the division series is usually my favorite series because the best team doesn't always win. Uh, we, you know, the Phillies certainly know well about that. We can talk about 2011. Um, and, you know, because of that fact, I have always said that uh, I love the playoff system the way it is. I love the one game. I love the five game. I think it's exactly right. And, you know, there are, in three of the four series, there's a clear-cut favorite. The Dodgers, the, 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 um, the Indians, and the Astros. Of those three, I would not be sh- shocked if one or two were not advancing. And then there's the great Cubs National Series, which to me is the most compelling of all of them. Uh, that's the series that to me makes the most sense, and uh, it's great storylines, you know, the Cubs and the Nationals. So, you know, to answer your question, I think that the Boston Red Sox can come in. They have veteran starting pitchers in their rotation who have had inconsistent years. I mean, Chris Sale's been great, but you're talking about the guy who won the Cy Young Award last year and Rick Porcello. Um, if you have those types of arms – they can easily be the great equalizer against a great lineup. Yeah, in the five game here, a lot of people look at the Indians and say, all right, can you beat them in a seven game uh, in the American League side? But it's a five-game series kind of uh, favor the Yankees here. It's not that a question of favoring the Yankees. I don't think anything favors the Yankees. You know, I think the, the misnomer about the Yankees is that I think they're still the same team that, um, you know, the, the, the one thing that um, – how, how do I explain this? The one thing the Yankees are is, to me, they're closer as a ball club to the teams they beat out for the wild card than any of the teams still in the playoffs. Gotcha. The Twins, the Orioles, the uh, the you know the, the the Seattle Mariners. I mean, that's what the, the that's what to me the Yankees are. Um, yeah, they get all kinds of hype, and yeah, they they had a big showing on a big stage. But you know, I think ultimately when. The number one thing that you have to recognize from the Yankees is they are young, and this is valuable experience. So if if you're a fan of the Yankees, this is a great thing for them, regardless if they win or not. Seth Everett's with us. Now, you're around talking baseball every day, all day, around the country. To me, <laughs> to me, it feels like the Cubs, the defending champions, who were the darlings, they were the story last year, they're like the afterthought this year. Is that fair? I don't know if I would say afterthought. Here's the way I would look at it. Um, the Cubs won 90 games, and yet nobody thinks they hit their stride. Right. And that, that's pretty amazing. Um, and then there's the Nationals, who have never won a playoff series as the Nationals, um, or the Expos for that matter. <laughs> um, and they have a veteran win-now team and a veteran win-now mentality. Uh, my attitude has been, you know, for, for a number of times, uh, I just think that the, the, the way – the Nationals come in with Jason Wirth and Ryan Zimmerman and Bryce Harper, who's young, but he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year, uh, at the end of next year, rather. You have that lineup put together for a finite time. The pressure is ungodly on the Nationals. And then you throw in the Scherzer injury, the fact that Strasburg's never been 100%, the fact that Harper's coming off of injury. All I can say to that is that is, to me, as much watch TV. And I've been a huge critic of the sport this year. And it has really meant this is the first time that I am I am circling the start times. I know what times these games, and I'll be at a couple of those games. And I just think that the biggest thing for those two matchups is both of them come in with a huge expectation. I think it's just I want to see Washington get the shot. Uh, Sale and Verlander for uh, game one today, and then uh, Gray and Bauer. Uh, Cleveland's going to go with Kluber in game two. Do you like that thinking? Well, you know, it depends because, you know, if you if you go through, you know, the four-man rotation, depending on how things go, does Kluber not pitch game five? Right. Um, you know, with the with the off days, I think it would be on regular rest. So I think he could, but uh, I think that's, that's a big uh, decision-making uh, process for them. And uh, I, I think that 
Uh, does it come back to bite them? I, I don't think it will. You know, I think the Indians are going to be rather comfortable this series, but uh, that remains to be seen. Okay, and then uh, the Dodgers, uh, a lot of people talking about them in the uh, National League. Exciting game last night for Arizona. That will be the late game on Friday. Uh, Arizona hasn't decided on the pitcher. I've liked the Diamondbacks. In fact, people keep asking. I think the Diamondbacks could do something here. This is the one matchup the Dodgers probably wanted to avoid. Well, the Diamondbacks won the season series. Uh, for, for the record, though, sort of the Rockies. Um, it's amazing for the Dodgers to have that good a record, and, and yet the two second and third place team in their division uh, found themselves uh, with you know winning records against the Dodgers. Um, the Diamondbacks are a, a really deadly team. They, they they have a lot of talent. Uh, you saw it yesterday. They had a lot of resiliency. I, I thought the Rockies put up one heck of a fight last night. I, I'm on record as saying I I think that Bud Black and and the folks in Colorado can hold their head held high and. Um, I think that ultimately when the Rockies come to battle next year, I'm really curious to see what kind of ball club they have because uh, I really like the makings of that team. And, you know, you got to – you feel for John Gray. He's 25 years old, and you know he's going up against Zach Greinke, and you know he hadn't given up three runs uh, in, in a series in, in a game since before June. Right. Um, so you know that's the playoffs. That's that's what happens. You know here are the Diamondbacks. People were talking about that Arizona not being able to use Greinke twice in the series because that's the burden of being the wild card. But yeah, he wasn't great either yesterday. So uh, who knows? Sorry, pitch it hasn't been good. All right, rapid fire. Seth's selections here. Boston, Houston. Who do you got? Oh, you realize I see no value in predicting five game series, but I'll do it. I'll I'll be the monkey. I'll dance. It's okay. Um, I'll say Houston. All right, Cleveland. I'll Houston and I'll say Houston in five. Cleveland, New York. Uh, Cleveland in four. Oh. Cleveland in four. Uh, and we got the two National Leagues: uh, Chicago, Washington. I'm going to say Washington in five. Good ones and Arizona, Cause, cause LA. Because I'm, I'm assigned to be at game five. So <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> Arizona, LA. Uh, Arizona, L.A., I'm going to go L.A., probably four or five. Uh, in a quip, did you like the Phillies' decision to get rid of uh, Pete? I was surprised. Uh, I, I was definitely surprised. But if they feel that they're ready to take the next step and that he was better to nurture young players and that when they're ready to be competitive, you know, they want somebody else running the running the helm, and that's fine. I didn't have a huge argument about it, but um, – I, I, I was a little surprised. I was less surprised about Terry Collins, more surprised about Pete McCannon. Uh, Seth Everett, NBC Sports Radio, the 24-7 Live Sports Talk Network. You can listen at NBCSportsRadio.com. Download their mobile NBC Sports Radio mobile app today. Seth, good to be talking baseball again with you, pal. Uh, you got it, buddy.